Oh my god. Hi everyone, minasan konnichiwa, it's me, Tick, and I'm here today with a video that's a little bit different from my usual content, but I've had this thing that I've been wanting to make a video about for quite a while, and I feel like now is as good a time as any, so. Um, before I get into it though, I just want to say thanks to you guys who have stuck around on my channel. Um, I know I haven't been all that active recently, but I promise I'll get back to my usual content as soon as I'm able to. Uh, I've had a lot going on with health and various life things, but I'm working on getting it under control so I can get back to making videos because I really do love posting videos here, which is why I figured that in the interim, while I'm not really able to make covers very well, I try to go ahead and make some sort of vlog type videos um, because this way I'm still creating something and staying motivated without putting too much strain on my body. But let me know what you guys think. I have a couple more ideas for videos I want to make, but I'll see how this one goes first, I guess. Anyways, uh, I'm sure some of you watching know what this is about, but I felt like it was time to sort of announce it officially, so here goes. I am non-binary. Uh, this is a pretty important part of my identity, so I'm really excited to finally have the courage to share it with you guys here on YouTube so that you can get to know me a little better. Basically, what non-binary means is that my gender identity exists somewhere outside the binary of male and female. Um, there are a lot of different ways to be non-binary, and each individual non-binary person has their own sort of unique relationship with the word and what it means to them and to their identity. Uh, but for me, it means that I don't really feel either like a boy or like a girl. Uh, I'm somewhere in between, and kind of both at the same time, but simultaneously neither of them. Um, I connect with aspects of both femininity and masculinity, but at the root of it, I am just me. Um, Gender isn't a very big part of who I am because I sort of just think of myself as a person. But this sort of personhood outside the bounds of gender is really important to my identity. And that's why I really like the label non-binary. Um, one way that I express my gender identity is through my clothes. Um, now there's an important distinction here between gender identity and gender expression. Basically, while well, gender identity is how someone feels about their gender inside, Gender expression is the way they present that to the world um, through fashion, hairstyle, or makeup, and that might line up with or it might be in opposition to their gender identity. You might be familiar with the term tomboy, for example, which is a person who identifies as a girl but expresses that identity through boyish clothes or behaviors. And these same ideas apply to transgender and non-binary people. Um, for example, some transgender women might express their fashion in a more masculine style, but they are still women because that's what their identity is on the inside. For me, my gender identity stays pretty constant in this gray area of non-binary, but the way I express it changes day to day. Uh, sometimes I wear more feminine clothes, uh, sometimes I wear masculine clothes, and sometimes I go for a more androgynous sort of look. Uh, sometimes I even wear makeup. But whether on the outside, I look like a girl or a boy or something else, on the inside, I'm always non-binary. Where you all come in is how I'd like you to talk about me. So I use they, them, theirs pronouns, which means that when you talk about me, I ask that you use they instead of he or she. Uh, for example, hey, Tick said that they are going to upload a new video on their channel tonight. Ooh, let me make sure I'm subscribed to them and so on, just like that. Um, they, them is a pretty common pronoun set used by many non-binary people, but it doesn't mean that all non-binary people use they, them. Um, some people will still prefer to use he, him, or she, her. There are other sets of gender neutral pronouns such as a, m, or z, here. Um, and some non-binary people use multiple sets of pronouns, like people who use both they and he interchangeably, or people who use different sets of pronouns depending on the situation, like maybe people who use they, them among their friends, but he, him with their family. But this is gonna depend on each individual non-binary person. So if you have a friend who's non-binary and you're wondering how to talk about them, it's always a good idea to ask just to be sure. And I'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking about that. Japanese, 
あるマンガ家が X ジェンダーっていう言葉を使ってるそうで僕もその言葉を使おうかなと思いましたえっ、ー、とジェンダーレスっていう言葉も日本で使われるようになっていると読みましたが自分はジェンダーがないというわけじゃなくてえー、と男性と女性以外に何か他のジェンダーであると感じますので X ジェンダーと呼ぶのが結構好きです前に英語で代名詞について話しましたが、えー、と日本語の場合は「僕」を使います「僕」を使うのは男性か女性かどっちですかっていうと僕の気持ち僕の心はもっと男性の方に近いですけど何の一人称代名詞を使っていても僕のアイデンティティは変わっていません。俺を使う場合もある。私を使う場合もある。えっ、ー、と学校とかでよく私を使いますね。でも僕のアイデンティティはいつもと同じように X ジェンダーです。どんなスタイルの服を着ていても X ジェンダーです。これを分かってくれない人もいるのかもしれないが、思いやりだけをお願いいたします。じゃあこれ以上で聞いてくれてありがとう。えっ、ー、と最近すごく忙しくて病気のせいであまり動画とかが作れなかったけどこれからだんだん頑張って作っていきたいと思います。えっ、ー、と質問とかあったらコメントで教えてくださいね。Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave, the, leave them in the comments.、Uh, and thanks everyone for listening and I'll see you next time. またね。